Hi everyone. Um, today we're going to be talking about adjustment layers. So what's an adjustment layer? Um, perhaps the easiest way of answering this question is to just illustrate. So um, supposing you have an image like this one and you'd like to make an adjustment to it. As you can see the image is uh, a bit dull so maybe you'd want to add a little bit of contrast to it. So typically how you do that is that uh, you'd go to adjustments, pick brightness and contrast and increase the contrast and that's it. Now doing things this way uh, works but there is one significant disadvantage to it. You can always undo the changes while you are within the editor but once you've saved the image and closed the editor then that's it you are committed and the reason for that is that this change is done to the actual pixel value so the actual image itself has changed. Um, so what adjustment layers allow you to do is uh, they allow you to put the changes you've made to the image in a separate layer so that now you have two images you have two layers one layer with the original image and another layer with just the changes you've made that way uh, if you need to go back to the original you can always delete the adjustment layer or you can just change the adjustment layer itself if you just want to modify what you've done earlier uh, maybe if you, you'd increase the contrast and you want to decrease it then you just change that in the adjustment layer and you get the changes without uh, affecting the original image. So if I may illustrate uh, by repeating the same process but using uh, an adjustment layer. So typically what I, uh, you do if you wanted to change this with an adjustment layer is that you go to the layers option, select new. Uh, you'd be given an option for selecting the kind of new layer you want. So select adjustment layer, click OK and there you have it. Um, so as you can see nothing has happened and that's because we put nothing on the adjustment layer. Um, the presence of the adjustment layer is indicated by this special icon. So if you double click the adjustment layer, uh, a dialog opens up with the uh, various uh, adjustments. Okay. Uh, one way in which uh, adjustment layers in Chassis Draw differ from adjustment layers in other editors like Photoshop is that in Chassis Draw you can have multiple adjustments in the same adjustment layer. So we could, for example, uh, increase the contrast like we did last time. Okay, so there we have uh, the contrast. We could also decide to add another adjustment to the same adjustment layer. So say I reset the curves, um, put an S curve there. Maybe you can even add a third one. Uh, let me just make change the hue of that. Okay. So we have three adjustments on that adjustment layer. So um, just to illustrate how the isolation I was talking about earlier, as you can see, if I move the adjustment layer, the changes move with it. And you can also get rid of the adjustment layer. You can uh, always uh, close the dialog, do a few other changes, come back, just double click that, and you still have the original changes there, which you can change. You can reset the curves to get rid of them and go back and uh, reset the hue so that you're just left with the contrast. So that's basically how a typical adjustment layer works. Now, this is adequate for most situations, but uh, there are situations where you'll need the adjustment layer to be masked to a specific layer. So for example, consider this image. Um, one of these oranges is fake, this one here. So supposing uh, we want to modify this orange and won't use an adjustment layer. Now for this specific case you need an adjustment layer that doesn't cover the entire area. You need it to be masked to just the opaque areas. The easiest way of doing that will be to right click that layer then go to adjustments and select attach adjustment layer. When you do this uh, just draw will create a new adjustment layer. Let me just show you where it is here. Uh, and as you can see the adjustment layer has been masked to have the same uh, opaque and transparent areas as the original image. The two of them have also been grouped and uh, the adjustment layer is locked. So I'll just start by unlocking that so that we can move them around. Okay, so as you can see uh, when I move the original image around moves together with uh, the adjustment layer because they've been grouped. Okay. So if you want to adjust this orange, now that you have the, an adjustment layer on top of it, you can just double click that. Um, so I'll go to curves, then I change the curves. Okay. 
and there we are we've adjusted the, the orange without affecting anything else so that's it uh thank you for watching and see you next time